U.S. military leaders admit to losing six nuclear weapons since 1950. Unsealed documents show one is in the Mediterranean Sea, two in the Pacific Ocean, and two in the Atlantic Ocean. And there's one that's lost on land. It's in eastern North Carolina. It was lost deep underground in a farmer's field 62 years ago today. Brian North is on the search for the broken air, a warhead near Goldsboro. Government documents show a B-52 bomber like this one was flying over eastern North Carolina. It was carrying two atomic bombs as part of Operation Chrome Dome. It was armed and ready in the event a nuclear strike was needed. That's when the B-52 developed a fuel leak. When the cockpit saw it, said we're not going to be able to push up this wing. Onslow County native Adam Maddox was one of the co-pilots on that B-52. In this WCTI interview from 2013, Maddox says just after midnight on January 24th, the wing started to fall apart. They couldn't save that B-52. It became a broken arrow situation. Maddox is the only known pilot to get out of a B-52 without an ejection seat, and he had a bird's eye view of those two atomic bombs thrown from the plane. That bomb had never been tested, dropped and tested. One bomb had a parachute and floated to the ground. Documents unsealed in 2011 state it was one safety switch away from exploding and causing the worst man-made disaster in history. The other bomb's parachute did not work. It hit the ground in Wayne County at an estimated 700 miles per hour, and the warhead has not been seen since. Jennifer Kuykendall's phone rings a little more often these days. Wayne County Museum, how can I help you? The B-52 crash in a rural area 12 miles north of Goldsboro. Oh, the broken arrow incident. Less than two yes. miles west of the Greene County line. We've gotten calls from um, National Geographic, the History Channel. I understand there's a, a film in the works. Uh, so Hollywood's interested too. And the area where the bomb went missing has become the destination for the curious. But finding the exact location of the plane crash and the bomb is a challenge. Okay, but right here is where the bomb on the airplane fell. It's less than a half mile away from Earl's home. It's the same house he was sleeping in with his wife and baby son when that B-52 went down a little after midnight, January 24th, 1961. I remember that light flashing. Earl says he immediately jumped into action. He was a member of the Faro Volunteer Fire Department and was one of the first on the scene of the crash. And they told us not to attack the plane if, if we knew it was military because they would take care of it. And he wasn't there long when he heard an ominous voice. A man come from the base. He got out on the loudspeaker. He said, for all obvious protection, go as far as you can in a hurry, because this plane was loaded. We don't know how much or don't know what. He could take up a big circle. Earl was not allowed anywhere near the buried bomb site for weeks. He was told they found the tail of the missing bomb as well as the detonators, but not the warhead. Well, if they make a movie, who do you want to play you in the movie? <laughs> I don't know where anybody wants to play me or not. <laughs> in Pharaoh, I'm Brian North, News Channel 12.